Welcome to the 2023 Commissioners Ottawa Open, played at Eagle Creek Golf Club in Dunrobin, Ontario. Eagle Creek is located 30 minutes west of Canada's capital, along the Ottawa River. The Commissioners Ottawa Open is the fifth stop on the PGA Tour of Canada and the race for the Fortinet Cup. Eagle Creek has hosted many tournaments, and some memorable events include the 1992, 98, and 99 Canadian Tour events. The 92 event was especially exciting, with Michael Bradley and Grant Waite tied at minus 11 going into the 72nd hole. Both players were putting for Eagles. After Bradley missed his attempt, oh, no. oh. it was Grant Waite of New Zealand with his attempt. Get in. Yes! Yes! Grant Wade shot a very impressive 13 under par to win. In 1998, Perry Parker went on to win with a score of 12 under par. Eagle Creek is a masterpiece that dates back to 1991. It is carved from the forest and sandy soil to offer an exceptional risk-reward experience. Almost every hole is a dare, with dangerous, thrilling options just as there are easier, safer ones. Large waste areas, lakes, forests, and bunkers challenge the golfer on every hole. The grand finale, the 18th, is perhaps the most famous par 5 around Ottawa. A 573-yard dogleg that skirts around a pristine 16-acre lake. Eagle Creek was designed by Ken Venturi and Ken Skodasek. Venturi was a renowned PGA Tour professional with 14 wins under his belt, including an epic playoff victory at the 1964 U.S. Open. We have been together a long time and we have a feel for what we want to see and all we want to do is by eye and terrain. And the more time you spend on it, the more you mold it and it gives your signature rather than just going on paper and say this is what you want to do. Put that there and I'll see you next a couple of months. That's not the way we do it. Ken's there all the time. We'll be moving close to a half million yards of dirt before the project is finished. Right now, not, too not too much. You have no pin placements that you can use. There's no blind shots. The building of the course began in 1989. The dense forests, sandy soil, and marshlands provided an ideal canvas to shape this golfer's haven. Half a million tons of earth were moved to carve out the lakes, waste areas, and to shape the fairways. The natural landscape was transformed by heavy machinery and soon the sculpting of fairways, bunkers and greens began. With drainage systems installed and the detailed shaping completed by the summer of 1990, it was time to bring the fairways to life. Seated with Penway bent grass, the course began its metamorphosis. The grass began growing and by the fall of 1990, the emerald carpet was laid magically transforming Eagle Creek into a beautiful challenge for golfers. Hole number one is a 405 yard par four. It starts from a spectacular elevated tee to a generous fairway area. A single fairway bunker defines the left side of the fairway, while another large bunker guards the right front of the kidney-shaped green. Hole number two is a double dogleg left, 540 yard par five. A large waste bunker guards the entire left side of the hole, while mounds and dense trees line the right side. The raised multi-tier green sits into the hillside. Hole number three is 368 yards long, with a slight dogleg to the right and a tree-lined narrow fairway. It is the shortest of the par fours. The two-tiered green is the smallest at Eagle Creek. It is well guarded on all sides by bunkers. Hole number four is a very scenic 182 yard par three. 
written as the first of seven holes on which water comes into play. The water is in play from the moment the ball leaves the tee until it clears the wooden bulkhead in front of the 90 yard long bunker which guards the front and left of the green. Hole number five is a demanding 408 yard par four dogleg right which plays along the banks of Constance Creek. A pair of fairway bunkers and rolling mounds on the far left of the landing area serve to turn the attention to the slightly elevated green, which is guarded by four pot bunkers. Hole number six is a 395 yard par four. You can see the 13th hole across the lake. Here the golfer is faced with the decision of whether to play it safe around the lake or to gamble and attempt to cross the lake to a narrow peninsula which reaches out from the well-bunkered green. This leaves a shot of only 50 to 75 yards to the green. The seventh hole is probably the most reachable of the par fives. At 500 yards, the hole plays right to left with the initial tee shot landing area guarded by bunkering both short left and long right. Also a large waste bunker forces a layup shot to be carefully placed. The green is framed by two bunkers, which are short left, and three bunkers which wrap around the rear of the green. Hole number eight is a 195 yard par three and has a long meandering bunker which reaches out almost 150 feet to the front right of the green. The multi-tier green with a rolling putting surface may be the most difficult to read on the course. It ranked number two in tournament play. Eagle Creek boasts two of the most beautiful finishing holes in golf. The ninth is a 441 yard par four, which plays around the north shore of the large lake, which separates the ninth and 18th holes. With rolling mounds backed by large pines to the left. The very large green is guarded by a pair of bunkers to the right front and a large bunker to the left and rear. It was ranked now the number one hole in tournament play. Hole number 10 is a 405 yard par four and has a slight dog leg to the right with a reasonably large landing area with large pines on the left. It also has a large bunker on the right. The approach to the green is guarded on the left front by a finger of the lake a large bunker wraps around the right rear of the green. The 173 yard 11th hole brings the large waste bunker back into view as it guards the entire right side and front of the green. Bunkers guard the left and rear as well. Hole number 12 is a 512 yard par 5 and is a double dogleg right. The tee shot landing area is tightly bracketed by fairway bunkers short right and long left. A 100 foot wide by 300 feet long and 12 foot deep waste area lies to the right front of the green. The green has two sand bunkers on the left and back. Hole number 13 is a 426 yard par 4 and is bordered on the right by the large lake encountered on holes 4, 5 and 6. A single large fairway bunker guards the left side of the fairway. The long, challenging, triple-tiered green is guarded by a 100-foot long sand bunker on the left. This hole is ranked number four in tournament play. Hole number 14 is a 430-yard long par four dogleg right and stretches completely around the left edge of the last of the waste bunkers. There are three options in playing this hole, depending on how daring one feels. The most daring option requires the total carry of the waste bunker to a narrow peninsula which extends outward from the two-tiered green. Hole number 15 is 205 yards and is the longest of the par threes. The approach to the green is well guarded by a meandering sand bunker which extends from the left front of the green approximately 225 feet back towards the tee. Two more bunkers guard the right and rear of the green. The 16th is the first of three strong finishing holes. 
It is a 424 yard slight dogleg right. The tight fairway rises over a ridge with large mounds on the left. The narrow slightly downhill approach to the multi-tiered green is guarded by bunkers to the right front and left front. Hole number 17 is a 430 yard par 4 with a sharp dogleg left which requires the golfer to choose between relative safety or a shot that must avoid the pine tree on the right. The green is tightly guarded by a long meandering bunker at the left front and another large bunker which wraps around to the right and rear of the terraced putting surface. The challenging hole ranked number three in tournament play. The 18th hole is Eagle Creek's signature hole. This 573 yard par five plays around the south side of the large lake which the ninth shares to the north. From the gold tees, the golfer must decide whether to play it safe around the right or gamble by playing to the peninsula. Going this route demands two accurate shots to carry the water and have a chance for eagle. Even the safe route forces the player to contend with the water and the long continuous meandering bunker which lies along the wood bulkhead bordering the lake. The final shot to the green must find its way between the lake and the adjacent bunker and the three large pot bunkers to the right and rear of the putting surface. Many tournaments and matches are won or lost on this spectacular hole.